to perform the individual manual muscle test for the supinator muscle. The patient is standing. It can also be done seated, but standing is a little easier. The arm is placed in full shoulder extension and elbow extension with the forearm in full supination. The shoulder and the elbow are placed in full extension to put the biceps muscle on full length to try to minimize its effect in the supination. The arm is stabilized at the distal humerus with one hand wrapped around both epicondyles so that you can tell if we're getting rotation at the glenohumeral joint instead of supination in the forearm. Resistance is applied at the distal forearm with the fingertips on the dorsal distal radius and the heel of the hand on the dorsal volar ulna and resistance is then applied in the direction of pronation with the patient trying to maintain supination. So hold that position right there. Don't let me move your hand. Like that. Substitutions would include external rotation at the glenohumeral joint, which you would detect with your stabilizing arm, or elbow or shoulder flexion to try to pull the biceps in to this action. The supinator muscle is palpated at the posterior lateral aspect of the proximal forearm.